Let's begin with the broadcast. Now, as the country gears up for the census scheduled to start tomorrow, 6 p.m., the deaf community in the country have come out to speak about what they term as discrimination in the process, saying that a majority of the enumerators hired to conduct the exercise have not been trained on sign language interpretation needed to communicate with such groups of people. The concerns come even as government says they have contingencies put in place to ensure the process is seamless. KTN's Timothy Utieno headlines are broadcast tonight. With less than 24 hours to the start of the country's sixth population census count since independence, the government says it is all systems go, even as a section of Kenyans remain apprehensive. One such group is the Kenya National Association of the Deaf, who now say that the government has discriminated against them since a huge number of enumerators in the forthcoming census have not been trained on sign language needed to obtain accurate information from such persons. I don't know what this team intends to plan. I don't know anything. So I'm still waiting to see what happens. But I'm requesting the government to try and look for a solution urgently. As you plan about the finances, how are you going to be, to be allocating money for the deaf people? How, how are you going to know the, how many deaf people are, are there? How many are going to be accessing the, the health? Those are the questions that are going to be, depend, to be dependent on how specific are they to be. The group is seeking answers from the government on how it plans to capture the data from the deaf community in the country, estimated to comprise of about 5% of the entire population. We also have another group of people who are there who are not even aware. We have the deaf blind people. How are they, how are they going to count the people who are deaf blind? How are the questions going to be? Is there an interpreter who will be there? So this one shows clearly that the government is going to leave out 5% of persons in Kenya who are deaf. Their complaints come merely hours to the start of the exercise that will cost the government in excess of 18 billion shillings, even as security officers guarantee the safety and security of Kenyans come Saturday night when the count begins. Jumamosi, eh, mabaa zetu kama mulivosikia jana, eh, mabaa ya tafungwa sa kumna moja. More than 135,000 enumerators and 27,000 content supervisors will oversee the exercise meant to help government formulate policy, guide resource distribution and planning. We have requested um, our fellow Kenyans, and, and I want to say this with uh, at most humility. We are sorry for the inconvenience that is going to be caused uh, to you because we ask that social places be closed at five. The exercise will run for seven days before Kenyans wait for another six weeks to get the preliminary results of the count. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.